Secondly, their pipeline Try harder. <laughs> theory extends far beyond Gamergate to fascist or 4chan to neo-Nazi pipelines. And those ones are already ridiculously stupid. If you think that Nazis like edgy, irreverent jokes, tell a deformed dick one ball Hitler joke in front of them and see how much they laugh. But it's not just that. Yeah, I mean, that's that's true. I've, I've known that's some... That's the point, short fat otaku. What? Hold on, hold on, hold oh, on. Look, he did the boss did a zoom in. He did, yeah, he did the, the, he did the zoom in. He looks very serious right now. So. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, like I've I've known a couple of neo-Nazis when I was younger and they didn't like the Hitler jokes, mm. which is why you make them. You make them uncomfortable right. because fuck those guys. Mm -hmm. Someone in the chat says, there's a questioning Pepe emoji and it says, how far right is Short Fat Otaku? The fact that he is overlooking this stuff is sus. Is that a sus is emoji? <laughs> what? Yes. What's a sus emoji? I can't tell what it is. It's like, I think it's the little... Uh, it's the anonymous mask. Oh, it's no, you know what it is? There's there. You know how there's that one meme image of an older bald man who has like a very, very like not like very angry, serious face and a very smiling, almost malicious face. It's the smiling, malicious one. OK, so there you go. Mm. Oh. I always knew you were malicious. Mm. This is he's doing it wrong, though. Vosh does it better. Xander Hall's like a Walmart <laughs> Vosh. Hold on, Adam. You just described Xander Hall's entire career. Oh, did I? Vosh does it better. Are you saying Xander Hall is the Vosh we have at home? Well, Vosh, Vosh has that thing that he does where he looks into the camera like, "Oh, this guy's full of shit." And Vosh actually does that pretty good. His his this guy's full of shit look is pretty good, but yeah, Xander has, Hall has... looks more like he forgot to like. He can't remember if he left the oven on at home or something he looks a little <laughs> bewildered like huh huh Vosh really does the electric toothbrush running yes incredulous Vosh has his incre Vosh practices oh, that's being incredulous yes. in the mirror every day okay he's like mm. he does and he gets real close to the camera yes like, he he drills it in there he's like yes this guy's full of shit <laughs> it's really bad faith that like it is Incredibly. the ultimate bad faith tactic Incredibly. for Vosh. Yes. Because Vosh will be in a serious discussion with someone and he'll do this thing. <laughs> and the person right. obviously doesn't know that he's doing it, which it's like, isn't right. it? It's a tad dishonest. Let's be honest. Right? <laughs> Nazis and people on the far right aren't actually in favor of edgy humor. They just like racism and being like bigoted and then saying it's a joke. He believes this shit. He fucking believes well, this shit. I mean, that, that that might actually be true, but that's why people like us aren't far right and aren't Nazis, because we do yeah. like edgy humor. We do like one ball Hitler jokes. Yeah, we do like we do like, OK, we do like 1350 <laughs> jokes and 41 percent jokes and every other kind of edgy joke that makes someone gasp and clutch their pearls because fuck yeah. you. <laughs> That's true. We I like to make when we joke, you like to make someone feel uncomfortable because that's what amuses you. You go, <laughs> the little troll inside you laughing is <laughs> I'm making this person uncomfortable. I just like <laughs> I'm pushing the boundaries. Like <laughs> part of the so much of the fun of just being in a group of people is joking around. I how is this? I mean, imagine we'll see. if the group was like he's describing it. Like they're all just a bunch of racists and they just like to sit around and fucking dwell on their racism. Right. Okay. Well, we'll see. Because I, I, I don't really understand what his his point is here. So, and then everybody to the left of them, up until you get to the left, believes it's a joke and defends it as if it is a joke. That's what we criticize. Mm -hmm. Oh, now he's going uh, back. Ever, so, wait, he's going back. So. Yeah, that wasn't a point. Yeah. I, okay. So, if if you if if the three of us here. And maybe mm -hmm. we can rope in Sargon as well, because he, he's a bit more to the right than us. He's, he's more conservative than we are. But still, if, if we were all hanging out and we're making certain mm -hmm. jokes that mm -hmm. are quite edgy. I wouldn't mm -hmm. make those jokes, to be honest with you. And people give oh, yeah? me a hard time because, yeah, everyone's always saying like, uh oh, here comes Adam. Gonna well, I mean, tell us I, not I, I, to be I can, racist. Yeah, I, would be the, the I would be I okay. would be the one to say. Dev, what the fuck? Why, why you gotta be? Well, I thought we were having fun here. Why you gotta be a goddamn fucking racist? That that would be my Let's have response, fun, Adam. 
That let's would be my fun. response to your edgy joke. Okay. There you go. So yeah. let's say let's say we're making these edgy jokes, mm-hmm. and then like an academic agent comes in or something. Right. And, and we know like, he's serious, right? <laughs> and it's like it's like yes, I genuinely believe this, and it's like well, at right. that point, you know what happens? We say, hey, you know, we're joking, right? Like, come on now. <laughs> right. Like, it, it, he's he's acting like that. There's there's like a mindlessness to humor, where people when they recognize that someone's actually taking this shit seriously, they won't object. And it's like, no, no, well, that's not how it I, works, man. I'm, I, I'm, com- I I'm think confused what his by point what's going on. I, I think it's, I have a completely different read on this okay. situation. I go think ahead, what say, he just said, first. I think what his point was is that he's criticizing us because he says we'll defend edgy jokes because we assume that all edgy jokes are coming from a place of not being racist which it's possible that we'll defend someone who's using edgy jokes and turns out they're really a secret racist. Sure. But the leftists of the, of in this situation, they just do the opposite. They assume all edgy jokes are coming from a place of hatred and bigotry. And it all seems self-defeating because in my estimation, the more they say you can't joke about that, it seems like the more people want to joke about that kind of stuff. So if they were really serious about trying to tamp down on sort of these racist jokes, I think labeling them as taboo is the exact opposite of what you want to do. But I think he's saying that he's he's saying that the only reason people are making these edgy jokes is because they're really racist. That all people on the right are racist, just hiding yeah, that's behind what... edgy jokes, and nobody ever makes any uh, edgy jokes. To be funny, they make it only as a way to exercise their racism. He he is saying that, but to to have to give him some charitability, I don't think he's saying everyone on the right does that. I think he's he saying is. that the I think actual... specifically. I think he said it point blank. I think that's well, exactly that's... what he said. Okay, let's go back. These like edgy, irreverent jokes tell a deformed dick one ball extends far beyond Gamergate to fascist or 4chan to neo-Nazi pipelines, and those ones are already ridiculously stupid. If you think that Nazis like edgy, irreverent jokes, tell a deformed dick one ball Hitler joke in front of them and see how much they laugh. But it's not just that. Dramatic pause. I know, here comes the Bosch thing right here. That's the point, short fat otaku. Nazis and people on the far right aren't actually in favor of edgy humor. They just like racism. And being like big. See, they solely like racism. Yeah, but That's he said he said about. Nazis. Yeah, but he says and Nazis people and on the people far on right. the far right. Okay, so he's okay. not saying all people on the right. But he categorizes everyone on the right on the as on the far right. <laughs> if you're anywhere if you're anywhere in the pipeline, you're on the far right. Bigoted, and then saying it's a joke, and then everybody to the left of them, up until you get to the left, believes it's a joke and defends it as if it is a joke. So he's saying, short, fat, utaku, you're naive, you don't realize right. these people are just legitimately racist, they have no sense of humor, they're not making jokes, they're just seriously racist, but, and see, you're defending it. To me, we have two approaches to this. If we have this mm-hmm. problem that we think there's all these secret racists telling these jokes, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. you can either, the left, the leftist approach is to say, we're going to make that these jokes are taboo, which I already mm-hmm. contend does the opposite. It makes people want to talk about the jokes more because pushing Mm -hmm. boundaries is always inherently funny. I agree. I totally agree. Or I think Dev's solution feels to be more of a real, a more of an actual solution, which is, well, the way to weed out the actual racist is that you tell jokes that would offend the fuck out of them too. (laughs) And that's how you you weed those people out. Yeah. That's a good strategy. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So there you go. That's that should be the talk strategy. about Hitler sucking cock. <laughs> yes, that's what we criticize. Look at his. Thank you for the wisdom. I feel. <laughs> I, feel I feel educated here. Short fat taco guy. <sighs> <laughs> They're on. Look, they—he definitely took the moral high ground on this exchange. I'm so glad yes. he did the zoom in. 